All right, guys, still at the Wiegand booth here now on the dry side with Larry here. And oh my gosh, you guys have this crazy idea that I have never seen before. A retake on the suspended coaster. So these are the guys that make those Alpine coasters we all love in Pigeon, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, Branson, Missouri, and all the ski resorts and all of that kind of stuff. But they've got something different here for people who don't have mountains. Can we talk about your suspended coaster concept? Suspended coaster is, a, is, a, is not a gravity ride. It is a power ride. Uh, utilizes a, a bus bar from an overhead track. Uh, oh, yeah. Has a number of vehicles yeah. that operate on the track all at once. And you actually control your speed uh, with a little throttle handle on the vehicle. So that's what this guy is. That's correct. And uh, when you go around radiuses and turns, uh, the vehicle will swing out like it does on a suspended roller coaster. Uh, capacity on this ride is somewhere between 500 and 750 people per hour based upon the, the length of the ride and, and the requirements from our customers. That's pretty awesome. With it being powered though, so you could you could safely keep the ride vehicles at different the system space. has got a built-in collision avoidance system, so the, each vehicle is, is carefully separated in, a, in a, what we would call to refer to as a block zone. And so if a rider is perhaps in front and happens to slow down or stop, the vehicle behind will automatically stop without the need for any kind of manual operation from the, from the passenger. That is good because I don't want to be slammed from behind from a kid who's not right. paying attention. Right. But at the same time, I don't want grandma in front of me to be slowing down and ruining my ride either. Correct. We try to tell people that when they leave the station that they can ride the ride with the throttle wide open, that the vehicles will say they will remain safely separated uh, throughout the ride and that there is no reason or purpose to stop on the ride while it's operating unless it's a safety issue. We would alert people during the ride if that was the case. Yeah, uh, definitely seems exciting. So you guys have the powered one, and then you also have a very similar concept that's more of a gravity-driven and booster wheels. We have a, a, a mid-size, uh, sort of a traditional type roller coaster, but there's several different vehicle configurations where passengers can seat side by side as you and I are today, mm -hmm. or they can face each other in a gondola type uh, configuration. And uh, where you have uh, issues where gravity may not be great enough, uh, have booster wheels so it will push the vehicle along the track as required. That's pretty exciting stuff and you said uh, you guys have one in a, a park in Germany? The powered yeah, one is have, there. We have uh, several of them that we're doing, one in Germany and we've got a new one that will be opening up in Mexico City in uh, the spring of next year. Yeah that was really interesting so we're used to your products kind of being in like mountain towns and all this kind of stuff. You said it's going to be in Mexico City in a shopping center. It is going to be in a shopping center. Uh, this is a, a new concept for Mexico City and it's a multi-story shopping center and they were interested in being able to move people through the shopping center instead of walking. They wanted to be able to fly them through uh, the shopping center so they could be up elevated and have a more visual experience. Oh, that's cool. So it'll have like different different stations. So you, it will. So it's kind of like a, a monorail, it says, a thrilling monorail type ride. Very similar to that type of the transportation. That is awesome. And now that, that seems like the future of theme parks right there. I think that people movers are, are being reconfigured to, to help both, both move people through, but also give them a different perspective of, of entertainment environment. So they're not just simply on the ground walking, but they often are off the ground and to get a different perspective of the park. I know I spend so much time walking at theme parks. Whenever there's like a train ride or some sort of transportation system, I'm all for it. So this sounds like a great idea. This is a, kind of the next step for <laughs> Wigan, I think. We have other transport systems that we do, but we think this is going to be a, an exciting addition to our product line. Oh, God, I, I love it. I love the mountain coasters. I've been on way too many at this point. I uh, like that. Oh, my gosh. I like them. I like them a lot. I, I brought my fiance to Pigeon Forge, so we rode... The ones up there, it was uh, very good. Good times. Very good. So uh, thank you for your time. I thank can't wait you. to get on we one of these. You coming by. This is awesome. I can't wait to push this lever all the way down and go really fast, swing out on those curves. We'll, oh. let, you, we'll let you know when it opens. Sounds good.